How are we doing guys? Nick and Active here. So let's have a chat about heel pain. Heel pain is most probably nationally one of the biggest causes of foot pain. So we take the heel bone here. Now a lot of people when they say heel pain they think plantar fasciitis. Yes plantar fasciitis or plantar fasciopathy is very very common but it is not the cause of every bit of heel pain out there. And actually we can almost start, thanks to a researcher, Carl Landock, sort of, let's break plantar fasciitis down into sort of three sub-stages as it were. So if we say we've got calf muscle, Achilles tendon, and then that becomes the plantar fascia from the heel here, and then attaches to the base here, and then obviously going back to our plantar plate video, we can then see it turns into the plantar plate. So what we tend to find is, say if we say you talk about plantar fasciitis, tends to be pain along the inside of this little bit heel bone here, that's where it tends to hurt the most. And say if we were to take an ultrasound or an image of it, but you may find it is slightly thicker than what it, than what it should be. So if we call that stage one, and then what we can do with that, we can look at exercises to help stretch, because if you bend the toes and the plantar plate's intact, it's gonna cause a nice stretch in the plantar fascia. We can then start doing exercises of raising it foot up and down as well to increase the strength. We can use foot orthoses, we can use taping. So then, so if we then actually, the heel pain begins to progress. Well, what we then have is some fat pad. Obviously, old Mr. Skeleton here has obviously lost all his fat pad. So we've just got to imagine there is this big, nice lump of fatty tissue under here just to add a bit of a shock and absorber and a cushion. Now the issue with fat pad it is very highly highly sensitive so if you aggravate it you know about it. So that's what we can then start to find is people have an aggravated fat pad plus with a plus a thickened plantar fascia coexisting at once. Now what you'll tend to notice is that true plantar fascia patients you'll come and say, when's your pain worse? It's as you push off, not as your heel strikes the ground. So you may find people who have aggravated fat pad issues as well, they say, do you know what, the heel really hurts when I strike the ground. Or actually, if we were to hit and just give a little thump, a thud to the fat pad, you, you really won't like that at all. If the fat pad's not aggravated, you can do this all day long and we're not gonna cause, you're not gonna notice it. Um, so then what we need to then try and do is help offload and maybe sometimes cushion that area as well. So then let's move on to stage three. Stage three is when we start to get some bony involvement. So if we have to do an MRI scan and we look at the bone, it may, what we are, you like to call it, light up like a Christmas tree. So that's high areas of signal, so you've got some fluid and bruising essentially around the bone. Now that's the time where you'll find out it will start to ache at night and even when you're not using it. And unfortunately, that's the one that takes the longest to settle because bony edema, bony bruising just takes, you need to offload it and you just need to give it time. So essentially, if we just got plantar fascia issues, we may expect that to settle slightly quicker. Then if you've got plantar fascia issues plus fat pad involvement, it will take slightly longer. Then if you've got sort of the perfect trio, as it were, perfect storm, then you've got all three, then that will actually take you longer to get back to where you need to. So that's why it's important when we talk about plantar fascia issues, we find out is it just the plantar fascia or there are other structures um, involved as well, because that obviously affects how long we expect to get this better. Um, something new to the clinic, shockwave therapy, can be really good for these uh, plantar fascia issues and there's lots of evidence supporting that right now, um, but you'll have to watch our shockwave video um, to find out more. So yeah, that's a sort of a bit more in-depth view around about plantar fasciitis. So any questions, any queries, you know how to get in contact and we'll see you all soon. Bye now.